Good morning, everybody from here in Phoenix, where for the fifth time in his coaching career, Mike Gundy and his OSU Cowboys finishing a season in a bowl game played in the state of Arizona. They had won the previous four as they took on Wisconsin in the guaranteed rate bowl late Tuesday night. A victory in this one would give Mike Gundy 12 bowl victories for his career. Only five coaches in the history of the game have more. 17th straight bowl game for the Cowboys, number 21 in a row for the Badgers. First quarter, Wisconsin leading 3-0 and driving for more, but Trey Rucker's end zone interception ending the threat, and on the very next play, the Pokes hitting a home run here on Chase Field. Garrett Rangel for Stephon Johnson Jr. The freshman from Texas makes a man miss and just runs away from everybody for an 84-yard touchdown, 7-3 OSU after one. But the Badgers were controlling the line of scrimmage and eventually the scoreboard reflects it. Back to back second quarter touchdowns, making it 17 7 Wisconsin at the half. Third quarter after a Rangel interception, Braylon Allen's 20 yard house call had the Badgers faithful jumping around 24 7 after three. The fourth quarter, though, starting with Rangel hitting Bixby's Brendan Presley for 41 yards and then on fourth and goal from the one. Oh, that's your play of the night. Rangel, as he's going to the turf, shovels for Ollie Gordon at the last second. This kid has some moxie. It's 24-14. We have a ball game. That was not what was supposed to happen. He was supposed to pull it and go around the corner because we had our outside receiver coming in to crack. And he just, him and Ollie, the two true freshmen, just made a heck of a play. Next drive, Rangel now in rhythm. Rolling left, hitting Rashad Owens for 41. This leads to a field goal. We had a one-score game with five minutes to go, 24-17. Cowboys had a chance to drive for the tie, but Rangel intercepted for the second time on the night, and the Badgers run out the clock, make it six losses in eight games to end the season for the Pokes. 24-17 the final in the guaranteed rate bowl. We, you know, we came out here with a little bit of a, a reduced roster, and new guys were involved, and we had to kind of find our way. And uh, guys competed, practiced hard for three weeks, um, had a great week of practice out here, so I was proud of them. Um, I hated it for the, the guys. It was their last game in the locker room that we couldn't finish out uh, with the win. Man, I'm most proud of that, you know, when things weren't looking the right way, you know, nobody gave up. Nobody gave up. Everybody kept going. The sidelines were just encouraging. Nobody was, you know, beating down on each other. Everybody was picking each other up. At times, man, it looked really good for us. And at times, man, it, did, it didn't look so great. But, I mean, I'm proud of the guys and the four-quarter effort. Okay, I mean, they played a 60-minute ball game. And, again, like, we just came up a little short. So the final record for OSU this season, 7-6, and six, not the season. This group was expecting after last year's 12-win campaign and the 5-0 and start this year, but of course injuries, and especially the injury and loss of Spencer Sanders, who entered his name in the transfer portal and is likely to play elsewhere in 2023, a big factor in all of that. Nevertheless, Mike Gundy says his team holding its head high and looking forward to 2023. That'll do it for sports from here in Phoenix, Arizona. Caden McFarland, 2 News, Oklahoma.